All right, everybody. Welcome back to uh, another video. And joining me for this unboxing is uh, some familiar faces. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead and get this show on the road. Cool artwork, Predator mini poster, very nice. Oh, an Ant Man mini poster. Oh, Venom. All right, Meg. Ah, upside down. Okay, got him out. Let's take a look at the box. Rick boy. All right. All right. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's get him out. All right, let's let's uh, see how big he is. So it's about eleven inches from foot to shoulder, and then maybe ten and a half at the top of a head. And baby is. Just, just about five inches. All right. Or chibi, chibi Godzilla. Let's take a closer look. Look at those toenails. The knees. The belly. The chest. The face. Side profile view. Let's 
take a look at the back. Very nicely done. Now let's look at space. Space Godzilla. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, there they are next to the uh, SH Monster Arts buddies. All right, there he is next to his uh, 30 centimeter counterpart. Okay, and uh, there's a big difference. All right. Let's see how he looks against other 25 centimeter monsters. All right, so there he is next to Biolanti. Okay, looks pretty good. There you go. And there he is next to 25 centimeter Gamera. All right, all righty. And there he is, next to Destroya, or Destroya, okay? Now, I don't know, uh, these are both large monster series, and they are both 25 centimeter scale, but I thought that Space Godzilla was 120 meters tall, right? And I thought Destroyer was also 120 meters tall. So, I don't know. I thought maybe Space Godzilla should have been bigger. Overall, it's still an amazing figure. And, uh,. So there we have uh, the closest thing I have to his height. This new Space Godzilla is uh, the 92 Sakai. You know, eh, a little bit smaller than a Sakai. Alright, let's try this. <clears throat> See how that looks. You know, that's what's cool. You know, you could use uh, your 30s with that baby Godzilla. And uh, there he is, the 25 next to the 30 centimeter 92. You know, the closest thing I have to a 94. I mean, that's not Burning Godzilla, that is. Alright. Alright, guys. So, in conclusion... 
I think it's a great figure. Uh, I've been waiting for a long time. Uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting a long time for this set. Uh, this was a Rick exclusive. Uh, big shout out and a big thank you to very well known, uh, <clears throat> very well known guy in, in the fandom. You know, he does a lot. Uh, to help everybody get their, you know, get get their Rick exclusive X Plus, and so I want to give him a, a, a shout out uh, <clears throat> for getting this to me so fast. Uh, Mike Johnson, everybody knows Mike Johnson, so thanks, Mike, for uh, <clears throat> making this uh, possible. Um, I've gotten quite a few f other figures from him, and I got a couple more coming from him and uh so yeah i mean you know he helps everybody out getting uh their rick exclusive figures uh <clears throat> i used to get them on my own but that was just a pain in the butt uh and i had to wait forever you know it'll at least take me a couple weeks for me to get uh well you know maybe a couple weeks but anyway uh <clears throat> I prefer using Mike Johnson so uh, <clears throat> and I recommend him to anybody out there looking for figures uh, Rick boy exclusives all right so <clears throat> yeah uh, it's a great figure I'm glad to have added him to my collection and uh, thanks for watching everybody until next time bye <laughs>